Some Indiana lawmakers want the drive to school safer for children. A school bus safety has been a topic of nationwide debate. News 10's Patsy Kelly tells us what it could mean for Vigo County. This crash tossed an adult to the floor of this bus. And it's images like these that get burned into a parent's mind. They want to know their child is safe stepping onto a bus. And one group of Indiana lawmakers has the same fear. They want seatbelts on all school buses across the state. I think we'll follow the path of the legislator. Uh, they're the ones who write the laws, and, and whatever they decide, we'll, we'll, we'll implement. 13,000 buses troll Indiana's roadways with your children every day. 197 of those buses are right here in Vigo County. In October, a bus hydroplaned and crashed in Clinton County in northern Indiana. Early last year, another school bus slammed into a bridge abutment, causing casualties. But does the safety outweigh the cost? Estimates say it would cost anywhere from ten dollars to $15,000 a bus to add seatbelts. That's over $100 million statewide. The price tag associated with outfitting a bus is expensive, but if, if, if it's found that that's the safest way to go and, and that's what the state wants to do, that's what we'll do. Fennell thinks it's best to allow school bus manufacturers to have a say in the matter. I would defer to having the manufacturers. I just defer to them and, and if what their safety research shows, uh, I'll leave that to the lawmakers. I mean, I think that that's, that's their decision, our decision, and our responsibility is to implement what, what they decide, and we'll do that. In Terre Haute, Patsy Kelly, News 10. Now, people are divided on the seatbelt issue. Yes, they are. Some say it helps cut down on children misbehaving while on board. Others say they can be used as weapons.